So now we're going to try and do slope intercept form. We're going to write the equation of a line that's parallel to the given line through slope intercept form. So we've got this equation here, y equals negative 5x minus 8, and we're given this point. What we're going to do is we need to first find m. And to find m, what we're going to do is look at this equation. We know that m is the slope, it's the number in front of x. So m is going to be negative 5. Once you've figured out what your slope is, you no longer need this equation at all. Step two, we're going to take this slope and we're going to take this point, which is going to be our x1, y1, and we're going to put it into point slope form. So what we're going to do is we're going to do y minus negative 10 or y plus 10 equals your slope, negative 5, and then x minus negative 4 or x plus 4. All right, so that's in point slope form. It's exactly like what we did above. And now we got to put it into point or to slope intercept form. So now we need to solve for y. To solve for y, we're going to first distribute the negative 5. We've got y plus 10 equals negative 5x minus 20. And then from there, we're going to minus 10 on both sides. So we're going to end up with y equals a negative 5x minus 30. And that's going to be our answer in slope intercept form. So the steps are pretty similar to what we did above. We got find our slope, put it in a point slope form, and then we got to solve for y. If you look at this one over here, number two, this equation is in point slope form. Point slope form, m is going to be the number in front of the parentheses. So m in this particular equation is negative four thirds. I know that my slope has to be the same because it's parallel. So my slope is going to be the same or negative four thirds. Once I have figured out what my slope is, this equation is no longer needed. Please don't use the 6 or the negative 3 for anything. We have this point, which will be my x1, y1. So I've got y minus 4 equals negative 4 thirds times x minus negative 9, or x plus 9. That's in point slope form, and now I'm going to solve for y just like I did in the other one. So I'm going to distribute the negative 4 thirds. And I'm going to get negative 4 thirds x. Leave it as negative 4 thirds, by the way. Don't write it as a decimal. And then I'm going to get negative 12. Once I have that, I add 4 to my negative 12. And I get y equals negative 4 thirds x minus 8. All right, so that's going to be um, the main idea of the lesson. You're going to have your assignment now, which is the next worksheet in your packet. So you had worksheet three as your homework last night, um, and now you have worksheet four for homework tonight. All right, so go ahead and work on worksheet four, and then tomorrow we will do some more stuff um, kind of dealing with slope, slope intercept and point slope form. All right, see you tomorrow. Thanks.